The new weapons that the Houthis bought from Iran began to pose a great threat to Israel. The threat to regional peace and security posed by the Houthi movement in Yemen expanded Friday when the group launched an explosive-laden drone on Tel Aviv in the pre-dawn hours, striking an apartment building and killing an Israeli man while wounding several others. The Houthi attack achieved a technological and symbolic victory as the group managed to penetrate Israeli territory, dodging the Israeli air defense system and inflicting damage for the first time since the start of the hostilities in October 2023. Israel authorities are investigating the circumstances and potential security lapses around a deadly drone blast in Tel Aviv. The attack was claimed by Yemen's Houthi rebels in what the Iranian proxy group said was a response to Israel's war in Gaza. Houthi spokesperson Yahya Sarhi said the operation was performed by a drone capable of bypassing the enemy's interception system. We will continue to strike these targets in response to the enemy's massacres and daily crimes against our brothers in the Gaza Strip, Sarhi said. Our operations will only cease when the aggression stops and the siege on the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip is lifted. The attack marked the first time Tel Aviv, Israel's commercial center, has been struck by a drone in an attack claimed by the Houthis. In a televised briefing, Israel Defense Forces spokesman Daniel Hagari said that the military suspects the drone was an Iranian-made Samad 3 model launched from Yemen which had been upgraded to extend its range. A second drone was intercepted outside of Israeli territory to the east at the same time as the attack, he said, adding that Israel is now upgrading its air defenses and increasing aerial patrols of its borders. Israel's response came a day later when Israeli aircraft hit the Yemeni port of Hodaida. The attack which marked the first time Israel has struck Yemen killed at least six people and injured scores more, Yemeni officials said. The Houthi-run Al-Masira TV said the strikes targeted oil facilities in the port of Yemen's west coast. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the port was used by Iran to bring arms into Yemen. The port we attacked is not an innocent port. It was used for military purposes. It was used as an entry point for deadly weapons supplied to the Houthis by Iran. He said neither side has suggested they are ready to back down. The Tel Aviv drone strike came days after the Houthis demonstrated they still have an ample and varied supply of weaponry in their arsenal. Direct attacks on each other's soil between the Israeli military and the Iran-backed rebel group now risk creating a new front in a conflict that already threatened to spill over into the region, with Houthi spokesperson Mohammed Abdul Salam describing the situation as open war. Thank you. 